Hi Scorpio, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world in English language. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Right now I'm going to do a reading for Scorpio people that what will happen from 1st of September till 15th of September 2022. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to pull out a cross spread from this tarot deck and we'll see what will happen overall. And after that, in the same video, I'm going to pull some cards out for your love life. And after that, in the same video, I'm going to pull some extra messages for you from Gypsy Cards. So watch the video till the end so you get all the messages. Let's start with Tarot. Okay, messages to Scorpio, 1st to 15th of September. Messages to Scorpio, 1st to 15th of September. Messages to Scorpio, 1st to 15th of September. Messages for Scorpio, 1st to 15th of September. Messages for Scorpio, 1st to 15th of September. Scorpio, uh, 1, 2, <clears throat> 3, Four, five. Okay. So the first card in the middle is Ten of Pentacles. So Scorpio, right now, uh, I think you're spending lots of time with your family, uh, or uh, you have some family uh, issues or things going on. Or maybe you are detached from whatever you do in life and you are just spending time home. Some of you are uh, thinking about money, uh, finances and uh, trying to maybe focus on uh, financial aspects and uh, something about finances or work uh, or money. Uh, before that, we have four of swords. So you have been really thinking and contemplating and uh, I don't know, maybe taking a break, resting uh, from everything. And it's like um, when you just feel that, OK, I need to uh, gain some perspective, whatever is going on in my life and where is my life going and things like that. Uh, so it was kind of a break from all the drama of this life and this world. Uh, and now uh, you, I think, are spending more time with family. In your mind space, we have Knight of Wands. So you are thinking about some kind of adventure or some kind of movement. Uh, so it can be anything, but it's like on your mind is that you have to do something about something. And uh, but again, it goes on and off. Sometimes you feel that, OK, I have to do it. And then you just uh, not do it or it's kind of an in and out, in and out kind of thoughts. Underneath, we have six of pentacles. So you feel that you are giving too much and you're not receiving that much back. It's like you feel that uh, it's, uh, it's a balance problem in uh, giving and receiving. So you feel that you uh, are giving a lot and you're not getting what you deserve. That's how you feel uh, within you, inside you. And uh, yeah. So uh, I don't know. It can be about a love situation. It can be about a marriage. It can be about a family situation uh, in which you feel that you have to give a lot and uh, you are not getting what you want or what you deserve. That's what I feel. Now what's coming towards you is Hermit. 
Hamid is not a bad energy. It's just, I think in the first part of September, you'll try to, or you'll want to get some wisdom. Uh, you'll be detached. Uh, I'm not saying that you're not going to meet anybody, but still you'll be a little bit uh, detached from other people and you'll be within you and uh, you'll be deeply thinking about something. You'll be putting light on some issues maybe or uh, something very deep and um, you'll be contemplating deeply. So it's like, uh, I think in the first part of September, you're going to uh, get some wisdom or you'll, you're going to go deep within you. I don't see much happening in the first part of September, like practical actions or big things happening. No, I don't think so. I think it will be very peaceful, very calm and you'll be uh, detached and you'll be with you a lot. Okay, now let's pull some cards out for your love life. Okay, love messages for Scorpio. 1st to 15th of September. Love messages for Scorpio. 1st to 15th of September. Love messages for Scorpio. 1st to 15th of September. Scorpio. 1, 2, 3. Uh, okay, first of all, we have High Priestess. So you will be like this closed book. Uh, nobody will know how you are feeling. Uh, at least your partner or your lover or whoever you have. Uh, that's going to be, uh, this person is going to be thinking that, okay, what is my person feeling right now? So you'll be this closed book and you'll be keeping everything within you. Like we have Hermit here, we have High Priestess here. Uh, but then there is going to be some conflicts with this Five of Wands here. Some conflicts, some disturbance, some... Um, you'll be also facing some kind of competition or uh, like when people uh, resist some resistance some competition some something not positive it's like um, um, I don't know maybe uh, it can be a fight also with your partner not necessarily for everybody don't worry don't freak out it's not necessary these are general readings uh, but still, there is going to be some conflict, some disagreement, some resistance uh, within your love situation. And you'll have to struggle. Uh, you'll have to struggle. Uh, that's what I feel. And then we have Page of Cups. So that's a positive energy, Scorpio. So there is going to be some romance. Maybe somebody will show some love interest in you or maybe some apology from somebody. Or maybe you will be wanting to message somebody. I don't know whether you will message or not. Uh, but maybe you will feel some butterflies in your stomach for somebody. But it's very initial. It's little. It's small. It's nothing big. I don't see much happening there too. Uh, so uh, whatever this romantic... It can be only thoughts or emotions rising. But I feel that uh, one situation is, is uh, in which you're fighting uh, and one situation is which is making you feel better. It's like that. And also in the background, we have six of swords. So some of you maybe will be thinking about moving on from some love situation of your life. Like moving on, giving up and stay away from the drama. It can be like that for some of you, not for everybody. 
Some of you can travel. Okay, now let's pull some extra messages from for you from Gypsy Cards. What else for Scorpio? First to 15th of September. What else for Scorpio? First to 15th of September. Marriage. There is something about your marriage. Let's see what's. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Marriage. Message. Hope and theft. So for some of you, uh, not for everybody, these are, uh, please keep that in mind that these are general readings. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, for some of you who are married, maybe you will lose hope in your marriage. For a very few of you, not for everybody. But there is something about marriage, your marriage, if you are married. So maybe uh, there is some, uh, it's like you losing hope in the marriage. It's for a very few of you. It's a very specific message. So please, uh, if it resonates with you. Okay, what else for Scorpio? 1st to 15th of September. Yeah, death. So something is going to end. It's not necessary that it will practically end, but maybe in your mind. Maybe you lose hope from in something. What else for Scorpio, 1st to 15th of September? Uh, there is some jealousy around you. Somebody is jealous and uh, not in a good way. Of course, jealousy is not good. Um, somebody is jealous. So uh, keep an eye on that and don't trust everybody because there is some jealousy I feel. So maybe if this person is jealous, whoever this person is, they can maybe uh, manipulating uh, some things in your life. Uh, so it's like that. Please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. And thank you so much for watching the video. Stay blessed always.